show. <laughs> and uh, then we suddenly had a lot of flashes in the valley and then some huge lights that suddenly turned out and moved with a very high speed north-south in the valley. And uh, one spectacular uh, happening was uh, one minute before 10 in the evening. And it, we had a big light that started out and moved very quickly north and south and gave us this very, very impressive uh, picture, which possibly is the best picture ever taken of the hairstyle phenomena. The exposure time uh, was 30 seconds. So we see that the hairstyle phenomena moves from uh, start up here and uh, moves down and then goes up again here. Uh, the distance here it's approximately maybe from 10 to 15 kilometers the distance it has covered and uh, uh, the camera has an optical grating in front of the lens and uh, this grating make this optical spectrum here the one thing that is uh, that surprises us with this spectrum is that it's uh, continuous the colors goes directly over in over in the other color here, and we see no the, no lines or dots here, which will give us a signal of that we have a gas that is burning. This looks like a optical spectrum from a solid object, or from plasma with high density, or it could be molecular. Uh, chemical compositions because molecular optical bands have very very narrow lines and I think that the, our equipment has not the resolution to can, could differ the different lines here so a molecular band could give us something that looks like a, a continuous specter. At the same time this observation is registered on radar while the lights were seen only for a few minutes, the radar readings show the phenomenon apparent for a total of four hours. And uh, we are also very curious about the Hestalm phenomena, which looks like a burning ball of fire, that it doesn't expand. In a combust the combustion process, things should expand, like in a motor, in a car, but the um, phenomena keeps it in the same volume. It doesn't expand at all, so something must uh, uh, be able to hold this phenomena together, like a big magnetic uh, field, uh, like a plasmoid, an elect uh, magnetic field which uh, entraps plasma and keeps it inside itself. So uh, we are looking for the mechanism that stores the energy and why this energy uh, source uh, uh, is so extremely powerful in, an, in the intensity. If this is a kind of a plasmoid, then we have a localized magnetical field that is able to encompress and uh, keep a huge amount of energy, a plasma, inside a small ball for a long, long time. And this storing mechanism is one of the most interesting uh, things to find out of. And this uh, storing mechanism could also be uh, possibly a new way of storing energy instead of batteries, instead of petrol, instead of uh, nuclear power. Maybe we in the atmosphere have a natural storing mechanism for energy which we never have been able to detect before. The Hestalm phenomenon is alive. The scientists claim to be on the verge of a revolution within physics. Can it be the energy source of the future we are looking at? The idea of extracting energy from thin air or vacuum is not new. As early as the 1920s, Nikola Tesla claimed to have discovered enormous energy potential in what he called the flux field or the vacuum field. Today, science has named it zero-point energy. 
Until now, there is no known method of extracting this energy. Can this be what we see glimpses of in Hestalen? Or is the phenomenon of a character challenging us to expand our conceptions of reality even further? Do the reports from locals in Hestalen indicate that there is more to this than mystical energy alone? Many forefront physicists claim that we should reach for a totally new view on reality. If so, could Hestalen be a portal to a different world? We know there is a lot of energy in it. Uh, we have a lot of data, uh, or some indication on, on the power. And uh, if we find out what this, is, what this power is coming from, maybe we can use that power for the mankind. It can be, for instance, a clean power source. Who knows? We don't know yet. But if we do necessary research, we maybe can find an answer to that question. Can this be a new power? Uh, which the mankind can be using.